if we've tried two different kinds of medicines and there's been no response, then we have to think this is maybe a nerve problem. And that's when we move on to nerve testing. Now the nerve test that I talk about is to test something called sacral nerve stimulation or interstim. In the test, I will put in a temporary stimulator, a temporary lead wire, which is about the size of, or thickness of a hair, and it goes into where the nerve sits, which is right underneath the tailbone. And for three or four days, they'll feel that stimulation. And they feel it's kind of like a, a, a light thumping vibration type sensation, which is not painful at all. And after four days, they will have recorded what their urinating is like before they did the test and during the test. And we'll look for signs of improvement. What we consider success is a 50% reduction in those symptoms. So if patients have half as many trips to the bathroom during the day, if they wake up at night half as many times, we know that we're onto something, that this is a nerve issue. And when that test works and they do well, well then they're candidates for an implanted version, which can continue to stimulate, and that implanted battery can last about four years. Alternatives to the interstem for people who are not candidates for a surgical implantation, for patients who are simply not interested in going into that, I would move on to the tibial nerve stimulation. And this is, this is based on Asian acupuncture, where the ankle was described thousands of years ago by Chinese medicine specialists to have an influence on the bladder's behavior. We take advantage of that knowledge and couple it with modern technology to stimulate with a low electrical stimulation in that posterior tibial nerve. And it's a weekly session lasting about a half an hour, which after, after five weeks, most patients are feeling a substantial improvement. It's a 12-week course of therapy. And the success is well into the 80s or high 80s. The last therapy that I offer is called Botox. Now, there are many people that offer Botox earlier in their interventions. I offer it as my sort of last ditch before radical surgery. Uh, the reason is the treatments that involve nerve stimulation really have no risk to them. They, they either work, which they do usually, or they don't work. Botox is very effective but a small percentage of patients may have trouble emptying their bladder, which is why I don't go to it. But it is a great treatment. And what it does is it stops muscle from contracting too much. And so if the issue is a bladder that squeezes too much, we can modulate the way that bladder is behaving by injecting it with this Botox, which blocks the chemical telling the, the bladder muscle to squeeze. I administer Botox oftentimes under sedation, though many patients want to be awake for it. Uh, it's a brief procedure which lasts about five minutes or so, um, and it takes a few days before it kicks in, and then patients will notice a substantial improvement. It usually will last for five or even six months, and then it's repeated. And what we've found is that the more repetitions, the longer it can, it can last. So some patients are going to seven, eight months before needing another treatment. As I've said, this overactive bladder population is huge. There are 37 million Americans that are suffering from this, and so many of them continue to suffer because they're not getting effective care. I have patient after patient who come back after I've treated them, particularly with Interstim, who have talk about how much their life has changed, how they are able to sit through a movie, how they're able to go to work. I had a patient who was out of the workplace for years and now is back in because she can now sleep at night, she can now sit down for her job without having to get up every 15 minutes. What bothers me is how many patients suffer from this problem and give up on treatment because maybe they didn't respond to one medication or two, not knowing that that's not where the road ends, that there are more treatments. And I want to take patients through systematically to find what works for them.